Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. Derek Reacts back at it again. And yes, you read right, Banana Rama, taking it back to 1986. Guys, I was only uh, two years old um, when this came out um, with Venus, the official video. And this one was by uh, Patreon subscriber Tony James. He said I'd check it out. And that's what I'm going to do, guys. Banana Rama for the first time, taking it back to the 80s. And I'm looking forward to this, guys. Before we get into the video, please take a moment, comment, like, and subscribe. I would love to hear feedback. It makes videos like these all the more possible. And also take a moment to follow me and like me both on Instagram and on Facebook. And if you're new to the channel, guys, welcome. And guys, yes, um, Halloween week is almost upon us. Please submit, submit your best Halloween uh, videos and songs that you would like me to react to. And I'm looking forward to see what you guys got for me. Um, and I'll be doing them next week. So I can't wait for that. And guys, I have a Patreon link down below. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance to help support my channel. Makes recommendations like the one you're about to watch all the more possible. Alright guys, without further ado, let's go. Catchy. If this doesn't scream 80s, I don't know what does. I mean, it's unbelievable. Um, these keyboard arrangements in the synths. Pure, pure 80s gold, guys, coming in strong with this. And it's so catchy because what they did there in the beginning, if you hear it, string, string, strings, and then keyboard arrangements, back to strings, keyboard arrangements. And I'm loving the way they break it up uh, with the video and the choreo, little hand stuff, the choreograph stuff like that. Very, very poppy. Very, very 80s. And you guys know that I love that. You guys know that I love that. Um, coming strong. Uh, by the way, their voice, all three of them singing at the same time. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. I love it. Um, I can't believe I was only two. Oh, my God. Only two years old, guys. Karen Woodward, Sarah uh, Dalen, or Dalen, um, and Sioban Fay. I don't know if I said that correctly, but... Nice, nice. Synths and also percussions coming in. Love it. So catchy. This is so catchy, guys. Um, just in time for Halloween, guys. Just in time for Halloween. I didn't know that this video was going to contain these elements, but very, very interesting. You saw there, um, I think, I believe that was Dracula coming out of a, a coffin. Um, I'm not sure, but a lot of Halloween elements. And we see some barely, barely clothed men here, too, uh, taking part in this, this kind of like very, very dark type of thing going on here. But I'm presuming Venus, you know, Venus, there's Venus, the the sex and all that going on, you know, planet and all that. Um, by the way, I've heard this on, I think it was a commercial um, uh, way back when. Uh, so I've heard this song before, if you guys are curious and knowing. Very, very classic. Very, very classic. Um, never seen this video before, so this is a new one for me. But that being said, I've, I've seen this on a, and I've heard it in a commercial uh, before. It, it, I don't know for what it was. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it has to do with the razor blade. Because, you know, there's a razor blade called Venus, too. Yeah, baby, she's got it. Oh, oh, look at that. Yeah. 
You know, this is a very interesting song, the way it's composed and, and structured. It's very simplistic in chorus and in lyrics, nothing too crazy. So when they're, what they're doing here is they're throwing some intermittent uh, instrumentation breaks, and it's working. It's working. And I like that because you hear the synths coming in nicely. Um, and those drums and percussions, by the way, guys, they're... they're uh, they look like they're synth generated and it has kind of like that classic 80s look uh feel to it at the same time uh with sound but i want to watch also want to mention something else i believe that this time 86 was the time where madonna was emerging to become kind of like she was just like everybody wanted to kind of like be like her and i'm not saying that they are but if you look at their style and the way they're dressed it kind of has that same you know those same images uh that she had um, I believe, I forgot what that was, that album. Um, but you know what I'm talking about. You know, in 86, 85, 86, when she came out um, and she was singing. I'm your Venus, I'm your fire, your desire. Um, very, very sexy, very, very sexy, sexual, sexual sounds and stuff like that. Loving it. Um, I, could have, I could see that this must have been a big uh, hit on MTV back in the day, uh, having a lot of play and stuff like that. And um, I, I like this. I'm seeing the costumes and Halloween themes with the devil, she, a she devil, uh, vamp, vampiress, you know, I believe that was a female vampire. Um, and even Greek goddess stuff going on. So a lot of a lot of different elements that have to do with sexy and seduction. You know, because this is what a song is about. It has a lot to do with those elements. Um, and I'm liking it, especially how they're using red too in this theme in, uh, for this video. Very interesting. What they did there, um, if you saw that what happened, they just had the uh, kind of like the percussion coming in um, and nothing else, even the guitar strings and the other synths were not even uh, per prevalent to kind of like give more of a, a nicer transition and a contrast to, to the song. Because like I said again before, it's very simplistic in nature when it comes to uh, the chorus and the writing. So you got to give a lot of credit to uh, the production, I guess, Stock Aiken Waterman for uh, putting this together and um, producing this. So he's really responsible for that. Um, it, it, it has a lot to... Ha these songs back then, especially these 80s type of dance songs, were simplistic in nature. Um, and they can go on forever. But this one's only three minutes, three and a half minutes uh, long. So, you know, but just think about it. Think about it. I like that. Such a fun, fun and cheeky type of video. Um, nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy um, in terms of, you know, uh, how, how to go about uh, creatively this video. But it's very fun. Very fun, very cheeky. Um, and it has kind of like all those 80s uh, elements that make this uh, stand out of the time, of the time. You know, this song, you, you play it and you're like, oh my God, I remember that time. 
that moment in time, whether it was in a bar, in a club, or whatever like that. Those are the this is the type, that's the type of song um, that's very very kind of like easy to sing to as well, um, and you can karaoke it or whatever like that. Very interesting. 1986, Banana Rama covered Venus because it wasn't theirs. It wasn't theirs for their True True Confessions album, reaching number one in six countries, guys. Number one. So it's a dance smash. Dance dance smash. Um, uh, originally, Venus was a song by a Dutch rock band Shocking Blue and released as a single in Netherlands in the summer of 1969, written by Robbie Van Leeuwen, um, and the song topped the charts in the countries. In 1981, it was used to open the stars on 45 medley. So that's where the origination came from. Um, but let's give credit to Sarah De uh, Dalin. Am I saying her name right? I think it's Dalen, Sarah Dalen, and um, Siobhan Fay and Karen Woodward. Great, great um, vocals um, as they all sing sing at the same freaking time um, to make this uh, so, so catchy, so catchy. Very dancey, very poppy, very 80s, most definitely. Producers at the time were Steve Jolly and Tony Swain. Swain, Swain, Swain. And then you got production from Stock Aiken Waterman, who is, uh, he's done a lot of stuff. He's done a lot of stuff. I forgot who it was, but he's been involved in many things, many things before. Originally, it was believed that Stock Aiken and Waterman are resistant on the idea because they believed that Venus would not make a good dance record. Can you believe that? Um, but the after persistence of the woman saw S.A.W. relented, and they went about it. They went about it. And guess what? Look, it paid off. It paid off. How did it do in the charts? Well, let's find out, guys. It peaked number one in the U.S., Australia, Finland, New Zealand, Switzerland, and South Africa. Can you believe that? Um, reached number two in Germany and top ten, Austria, Belgium, Canada, France, Netherlands, Norway, Spain, Sweden, and their native U.K., guys. Number eight in the U.K. single charts and it also topped the U.S. Hit hot dance disco charts for two weeks. Guys, unbelievable, unbelievable. Um, you see how the, the video was done, simplistic in nature, like a lot of 80s videos tend, tend to have. I reacted to the, uh, what was it, turnaround, count back to 10 from, uh, what was it, what's the name, Dead or Alive? It was simplistic like that too, 80s guys, 80s. But what, you know what's interesting is that, what I've noticed is that even though these videos made a lot of airplay on MTV, which this one did too, um, I think what was fascinating at this time is that people were in, um, anticipating music to get themselves dancing. Just think about it in front of the TV, you know, back in the day, dancing in front of that while the videos play. You know, that's what it is. That's what it is. Dancing, going crazy, you know, whatever, with your scrunchies and, you know, your all your 80s clothing and all that. God, <laughs> just think about it and the earrings and everything. Um, but it was directed by Peter Kaur or Peter Kerr, and choreographed by Bruno Tonoli, and received, received a lot of uh, extended play on MTV across the world. Uh, and you see Bananarama in very co different costumes. The She-Devil, the Greek Goddess, the Vampiress, um, and even Temptress, French Temptress. So, so uh, you see here what's happening with uh, Sandra Bocelli's painting, The Birth of Venus. And this is where the sex stuff comes from. Um, adopted as the to, uh, the video marked a, a pivotal swift towards more glamorous and sexual image for the girls, contrasted with a tomboyish style of their early work. Apparently, they had a much more kind of like tomboyish type of style before this, um, which makes me very very intrigued in knowing what their earlier work was and and how it sounded like, at least as, as image and style goes. That 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 being said, but very sexy, seductive. That's the point of it. Venus guys, Venus. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff on the ears. Drums, keyboard arrangements, guitars, and good production all the way around. Derek reacts proof coming at you all the way without a doubt. Until next time, for more, possibly more Bananarama, send me your recommendations and feedback down below. I would love to hear what you have to say. Take care, guys. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like these, be sure to check this one out. And also take a moment to comment, like, and smash the subscribe button to stay on all the latest reaction videos. And guys, yes, I have a Patreon link down below. Be sure to check that out. Help support the channel. Makes your voice, your recommendations all the more possible. Take care, guys. Love you guys. Peace.